guys, welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name's Michelle, and today I'm going to be opening up my October Itsy Bag. Ooh, ooh. So I was so good this month, and I didn't take a sneak peek at what was going to be my bag, but then I get a text message from my friend Tanisha, and she's like, you need to see what they have up on the points, like where you cash in your points, because you're going to want it, and it's amazing. So I logged on, and of course it pops up what's going to be in your bag, like right when you log in. And which, by the way, I did get what she was talking about, and I'm hoping it comes in next one's bag. And I should have one item in here, perhaps. Oh, that's not it, but that was loose. Um, I should have one item in here that I got earlier last month, but I'm not feeling it. Oh, that's gonna be disappointing. Um, yeah, it was supposed to be an eyeliner from Bella Pierre, that black gel eyeliner that I love, 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 love so much. And I'm almost out of my one that I do have already. Oh, I hope it's in the bag. Dang it. I'll have, I'll have to email them. The theme this month is Alter Ego, and that goes with the Halloween theme and changing your outer appearance to be all something you're not normally, which is kind of cool. And lots of fun, you know? Who doesn't like to play a little bit of dress up? But this is what the bag looks like here. It's just a plain gold bag, and then on the back, a shiny black. And there was one item that was loose, and it is the Luxie Tapered Blending. Do I already own this? I feel like I already own this. Like I already got this in an Ipsy bag before. Let's go ahead and see what is actually in the bag. First product I'm pulling out is a little vial here and this is the Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. The writing is so itty bitty tiny. Ooh, this is from The Balm. And don't mind the other swatches here. Let's go ahead and swatch that out. Ooh, what a pretty shade. It's very pigmented, like, whoa, pigmented. And long-lasting, so I wonder if it dries down to like an almost matte. The shade is called Committed, by the way. And yeah, that'll be fun to play around with. Actually, the bronzer I'm wearing today is from The Balm. It's the Bahama Mama one, I think it's called. I love it. The next product I'm pulling out is another brush, and this is the Royal and Lane Nickel. This is a medium eyeshader brush. And this is what I saw on the previous. So I'm wondering if this is what I got with my points, but I definitely did not order a brush because I own so many brushes. I mean, it's nice if I get them, but I would not go out of my way to order one. I absolutely ordered the eyeliner. I'm definitely gonna have to email them. And they're probably sold out of the eyeliner now, which means I'm not gonna get it and they'll probably just refund me my points, which is nice of them to do, but crappy because I was very much looking forward to the eyeliner. Oh, I hate that. Oh, anyways, let's get back to the brush. This is like a grippy silicone, like, material and the brush head is pretty flat there you'll see that no i don't know oh now i'm kind of like pooped out sorry i wanted the eyeliner now i'm whining yay this next product is the argan face serum it is a apricot and rose hips it says that it is organic for normal to dry skin cute little sample bottle there like that. I don't know about using argan oil on my face. I don't know. Has you ever tried argan oil? It says it's 100% naturally USDA certified and organic. I might have to try it. I'm a little nervous because I do have acne prone skin so everything seems to piss off my skin basically. This next product is, what is it, what is it, what is it? Ooh, Mica Beauty Cosmetics and it is a cream eyeshadow in bronze. Well, it is very, very bronzy. Let's go ahead. It's very dry. It's a different type of feel. I thought it was going to kind of feel like the Maybelline tattoos. Or we got a Micah Beauty eyeshadow primer like maybe six months ago. Let's go ahead and swatch that out over here. Okay. I'm not a fan of this tone. I kind of got a liquid eyeshadow from teeny teeny beauty last april not this past april but the year before that 
and it was in this very similar shade and I just never wear it. It's not really a color I go for or grab for. It's too, it's too much for me. All right, that's a disappointment, but that's a color thing. This next product is by Beauty Without Cruelty and it is a premium botanical lotion, fragrance free for hand and body treatment. It's 100% vegan and vegetarian. Very cool. It's like a deluxe sample size right there. And let's see what it smells like. It smells like lotion. Reminds me of like Jergens lotion for some reason, the smell of it. Oh, and this liquid lipstick is drying down to like an almost matte finish there. You see that? Very cool. The only thing I, I worry about liquid lipsticks that dry down so quickly into like an almost matte finish is like getting crumbly or like weird on the inside of your lip there. I hate that feeling and that look where you're just like, Bruh. I don't know. We will have to try it out. Oh, and that was it. That's all that came in this one's bag? Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm being so weird. I'm not overly thrilled with this one's bag. I have to tell you. The lotion is nice and I like this brand. I've tried products from them before and it's a decent size. The, I don't like the color of the Mica Beauty Cosmetics. It's just not something I personally use. The brush is nice and it's very soft, but I don't know, maybe I'm just pooped out by the whole fact that I didn't get my dang eyeliner. I'm a little, a little uh, hesitant about using an argan oil on my face and I, I'm just gonna have to try the Meat Matte Hues to see if it's something I like or not. Sorry for my lack of excitement. I feel like, I don't know, like I should be more peppy about it or something. Maybe I'm just tired. Let me know what you think about this box in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my new videos. Check out my blog at sparklemepink.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.